Hi there, this is Mark Haddad here again. In uh, this video, I'll have to show you how you can block uh, YouTube traffic using the uh, TLS host. So since the version 6.41 on the MicroTik router, they have created something called TLS host. So we will get uh, the server names from the TLS host for uh, YouTube, and then we can block them. So as you can see here, we have a lab of uh, five points. So the scenario is that I have a MicroTik router, I'm connected to computer to it, that's it. And we have internet from this MicroTik router. And we need now to start blocking the YouTube traffic. So let's start directly with point number one. Point number one, open a YouTube video on your PC. Is it working? So I will open here the browser and this is the browser and let's go to YouTube. So this is YouTube and you can see it is working without any problem. So now we have to do the uh, filter rules to be able to block the YouTube traffic. All right. And this, uh, the way I'm showing you here is not only for the computer, but also it works for any uh, YouTube traffic, whether on uh, the phone, smartphone, or uh, on the tablet or any other devices, then YouTube will be completely blocked. Point number one is done. Point number two, create a filter rule to collect all YouTube servers in the address list. So what I need now to do, I have to use the TLS host. So on the, the TLS host, uh, then uh, you can uh, find out what are the servers of YouTube. So we see what are the server of YouTube. We put them in an address list and then I will apply another filter rule to drop all the traffic going to those servers. So what I need now to do is to collect all the servers of your YouTube, then I can put them on a address list. So I'll make them in a category. So how to do that? We have to go to the MicroTik router. And then we go to the IP and I go to firewall. All right, very good. So inside the filter rule here, I just create a new rule. And I will say for the chain forward, forward means any traffic going from my PC to the internet. So it's going via the router to the internet. So forward, coming from, and here you have to put your LAN network. In my case, it is 192.168.1.0 slash 24. So anything traffic going via the router coming from this IP or from this range of IP, and going to do TCP on port 443. So why TCP 443? Because the uh, YouTube works on HTTPS. So HTTPS is on PCP port 443. So again, any traffic going from my computer via the router coming from this address and doing TCP 443. All right, very good. And now we have to go here to the advance. And if we go down here in advance, you see we have the TLS host. Over here, you have to put the uh, server name, but you can also put regular expression. I will make this regular expression. It works perfectly. I tried it and it's working perfectly. You just make asterisk and you write YouTube and you make asterisk. So then I will repeat what we have done. Any traffic going from my computer from this range, trying to do TCP on port 443 and it has something inside of it as TLS host YouTube, then the action is to add the destination, so that means to where it is going, to the server of YouTube, add it inside an address list, and this address list, I will name it YouTube, just I give it a name, and I will keep this IP inside this address list YouTube for 30 days, so 30 days. All right, so this is how you can write 30 days. You can make it more than 30 days, you can make it less, but I just like to keep it inside the address list for 30 days days because then it is there and uh, it is uh, always uh, there all right so let's repeat last time so again traffic going forward coming from this uh, network trying to do uh, https and it is doing youtube so only for youtube then add those ip addresses of the destination which are the youtube server inside an address list uh, called youtube and leave it for 30 days all right, then I'll make OK. So now we didn't yet apply the filter rule to drop the traffic. We are just collecting the YouTube servers and the server IP addresses inside the address list. And then after that, I will make the drop of the traffic. Now I have made some traffic already now for YouTube. So I opened YouTube on my, because I also enabled wireless here. So I opened YouTube on my phone, on my tablet, on my computer, just to collect the servers of YouTube. And you can see now that if we look inside the address list, you can see that here we go that uh, this uh, address list that I have 
uh, made the YouTube. It has collected those uh, IPs from YouTube. So you can see that YouTube has different uh, servers. So it has collected already all of this. And the more you do traffic on YouTube, uh, the more addresses you may get. All right. So you can see it has D means it is dynamic. And uh, this will stay for 30 days. You can see it is already 29 days something. So it's staying for 30 days. Very good. So what you need now to do is just to apply the uh, filter rule to drop it. Okay. Point number two is done. Point number three, apply a filter rule against uh, this other system to drop all traffic. Okay. So let's do that. We go again to the router. And now we create another filter rule. And all you need to do here is to say the chain forward. So this is the traffic going via the router. And then over here, you, what you need to do is to go to the advanced and uh, say destination address list, which is YouTube. So anything going via the router, which is trying to go to the YouTube uh, destination address. So that is the uh, address list. Then the action is to drop. That's it. And you say now drop. So that's what you need to do now. Let's open YouTube and see if it's going to work. Port number three is done. Port number four, check if you have collected YouTube servers, uh, IP and the addresses. We have already seen that. So uh, I've already showed you that. You can see they are all over here. Port number four is done. Port number five, try to open YouTube page. Does it work? And what about other pages? So let's open the browser now and let's go to YouTube. So you can see it is loading, 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 and it's not going to open. Let's open something else. Let's go to Facebook, for example. And here we go. You see that Facebook, it is working. Let's uh, open uh, LinkedIn. And LinkedIn is working. So the only traffic at this moment which is dropping is YouTube. And you can see it's loading, loading, loading. And now if we go to the filter rules, and now we go to the uh, here, and let's check. So you see on the filter rules here, this is the dropping. So uh, you can see that the, the packets are increasing because it is uh, dropping the packets for YouTube. So you see it's uh, straightforward. It works perfectly. And this is much better than using the layer seven here. Normally a lot of people use the layer seven protocol. They just put here a, a regular expression. But the problem with layer seven that the, the Mikrotik firewall needs for every traffic coming to the router, he needs to check the layer seven. So it has to go up to the layer seven and checking the layer seven every time, then it is a lot of resources on your router. So the CPU will be high. And uh, in case you have a lot of traffic from your production network, which are the normal traffic, and uh, then he's always checking for every traffic, the layer seven, then it will drop a lot of packets. So that's something I don't uh, really recommend that you use it, the layer seven. So in, in case you have a small network, that's fine. But for big networks, I don't think it's the best solution. The best to do is to use this, uh, what I showed you now, the uh, uh, using the uh, TLS host, just put it here the TLS source on uh, the uh, advanced and collect all those uh, IP uh, of uh, YouTube servers and then apply a dropping on it and then it works perfectly. So let's now check if uh, you can see it's still trying to open YouTube, but at the end, it's not going to open at all. Yeah. Point number five is done. And uh, with this point, I have showed you a very nice uh, way to block the YouTube traffic. You can see a straightforward couple of uh, configuration you have to do and it works perfectly without any problem. So this is what I wanted to show you in uh, this uh, lecture. I hope it was informative for you and I will see you in the upcoming lecture.